my channel if you're new here please remember to subscribe down below and like this video if you enjoy watching it so in today's video we're going to be making the famous tiktok feta cheese pasta i'm going to be making it with chicken um i figured i make it with chicken just because it's not the first time that i make it the last time i made it i made it without the chicken so this time i want to try to see how would it taste with chicken i'm not going to show you the chicken part it's already on the side i'll just add it in when the pasta is ready i'm just going to show you guys the ingredients and how i make it it's really simple um, you probably have some of these ingredients already in your uh, kitchen. So let me show you by, let me first start off by showing you the ingredients. So first we're going to need um, the main ingredient, which is the feta cheese. It's a block of cheese. Um, this is the President Feta Chunk Cheese, but you can use whichever one is in your supermarket. Um, I know that like because of TikTok, it's been a little harder to find like the block of cheese for feta cheese. Um, at least for me it has been so um, I just grab whichever one is available when I do find it um, then you're also gonna need uh, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes um, they have like different names I just grab whichever ones are available it looks like that you're gonna need olive oil oregano I like to use the Dominican one black pepper Salt, garlic, and fresh basil. And then after all of this is done, you can use the um, pasta of your choice. I'm going to use the spaghetti pasta, but you can use um, the macaroni, the elbow macaroni ones, the panna lavaca, whichever uh, pasta noodle you prefer. So I'm going to start off by placing all of the tomatoes. I don't think you have to use all of them. It's up to you. I just personally placed all of them. Place them on the side. And then you place the block of cheese on the middle. I like to throw away things as I'm cooking just so that the mess doesn't um, clutter up. And then we're going to start off by adding the olive oil or like just a small drizzle. It helps cook it. I know that in some videos, some people um, add the red pepper flakes, but I don't like to add it because um, I don't like anything spicy, so if I feel like it's going to be spicy, I just avoid it. Then, my hands are clean, by the way. I'm just going to add some salt on my hands so that I can sprinkle all over. Right? On the side. Then, we're going to use the oregano. Same thing. and then in between I'm just gonna put the garlic in between the tomatoes and then these the basil leaves are already rinsed off so I'm just going to add some on top, add a few leaves, uh, whatever suit your preference, uh, same with the um, ingredients. I don't measure anything, I just eyeball it, it's up to you if you want to measure it. Um, I just eyeball it, that's just how I've always been raised to cook. I should have been having this oven preheating, but I didn't, so... It's fine. And then don't forget to clean as you go. So it should look something like this. Right. 
So I'm going to put this in the oven and then I'll be back to show you guys the rest of the steps. It's very simple. So we'll be back. So I wanted to come on here and show you guys the type of noodles that I'm using. I'm using the thick spaghetti uh, noodles by this brand, but you can use any brand and any noodles of your choice, as I mentioned before. So there I have them boiling with a little pinch of salt. Um, so when the cherry tomatoes are ready. So this is what the pasta looks like after 25 minutes or so, depending on, on the heat that you have it. I had it at 400 and then after a while, I lowered it to 350 just so that it wouldn't like get burned or anything so it looks like this don't mind the cheese i was like testing out the cheese to see if it was like um easy to smash so it looks like this and then i have my pasta as i mentioned before it's the spaghetti um here drained i'm going to be smashing all of this together and mixing it and then adding the pasta along with the chicken also i have garlic bread in the oven cooking uh so that i can have like a full meal and i'll show you guys how that looks um in a little while Okay, guys, so this is the final result. Um, mine has chicken and garlic bread on the side. Um, you know, you don't have to do it with chicken. You don't have to do it with garlic bread. That was just my preference on how I wanted to make it. So this is more or less what it would look like. No, you have the tomatoes thing. Okay, and now we're ready to eat. Chef's kiss. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe down below and like this video if you enjoy watching. Bye-bye.